Hi everyone, this is a practice placement into Math 1431 for uh, University of Houston. It's just a practice. The version you have might be a little different than this, but uh, the order should be the same. Um, we're going to do composition of functions. Um, we got f of x, and I forgot to write g of x, so what's g of x? Uh, g of x here is... Um, the one I have is 8x plus 9. So basically, what you're doing is basically, uh, some students get confused with that, but it's basically you're just uh, inputting g of x into f. So what I'm going to do is, since uh, I'm going to write down f first, so for f of x, I'm going to write... Uh, F, but everywhere there's an X, I'm just going to put parentheses. So that would be this top part, and the denominator, write 4 minus 3, and there's an X, so I just put parentheses. Now what I'm going to do is dump this G of X into my X's here. So this is going to be 8X plus 9, and 8X plus 9. And then you just simplify so this is going to be uh, 80x plus 90, and then put your minus 1 over 4 minus 24x minus 27. So when I simplify this, I'm going to get 80x plus 89 over negative 24x. Um, minus 23 and that would be my uh, f of g of x and that's basically the best steps to take for that the next one is very similar a little harder because you have this uh, square thing going on in this case we're really doing g f of x so since g is on my outside here, I'm going to write down g. And everywhere there's an x, though, I'm just going to put parentheses. So I'm just putting parentheses here like that. All right? Now I'm going to dump in my f of x because it's on the inside. It's my inner function, and g is my outer function. So I'm going to uh, dump in 4x minus 3. 4x minus 3. Now remember, you have to do uh, PEMDAS, so you have to square this first. And you just use your formula. This is going to be um, 16x squared minus 2 times 12 is 24x. Um, and then you just, b squared is going to be plus 9. Distribute here, you get negative 20x plus 15. Don't forget about Mr. Tagalong 7 here. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2 now. So I get 32x squared minus 48x plus 18. And then just copy down the rest of this. Oh, 15 mi minus 7 is 8. I'll go ahead and clear this part up. It's an x. And then just clean it up. We only have the 32x squared, and then I'm going to put these two together, so that's minus 68x, and then these two is 26. All right. Now, the next one, find the slope. This should be easy uh, from Algebra 1, basically. So just remember your slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 for x of 2 minus x of 1. And uh, you can do each way. I'll call this point 1. So this is x of 1, y sub 1. This is, I'll call point 2. So I'll call this x of 2, y sub 2. And just pl plug it in. It doesn't matter which point you call first. So I'm going to start with this one. So it's negative 8 minus 3 over 3 minus a negative 6. So that's negative 11 
and this changes to a positive over 9. So that's your slope. And the last one, give the vertical asymptotes of the graph. This is a rational. You have to be careful here because usually um, the vertical asymptotes comes from the denominator, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and factor the numerator and the denominator. And I'm going to get x plus 7 times x minus 1. And the denominator, what's that going to be? Um, oh, I don't know where it is. Okay, so 70 is going to be um, x minus 10 times x plus 7. Okay, now if you look at this, the domain is all real numbers where, where x cannot be uh, 10 and x cannot be what? Negative 7. Okay, and usually that's your vertical asymptotes. Usually your vertical asymptotes are just what the domain can't be. x um, equals 10 and x equals negative uh, 7. However, in this case, we have a hole. We have a hole right there. So that's not a vertical asymptote. So they have both answers on there. So be careful with this question on the test. All right? That's all of this video, and thank you, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.